Michael is 58 years old. He has been a smoker over 30 years and he usually drinks several glasses of wine a day, in addition to a glass of gin or whiskey. A few weeks ago, he has noticed that food gets stuck when he's eating. At first, this only happened with meat and bread, but even mashed potatoes are hard to swallow now. Can this difficult swallowing be caused by an esophageal cancer? John is 62 years old. He has always been overweight and he's taken antacids for years because he has gastroesophageal reflex. In the last few weeks, he's losing weight because he has stopped eating solid food as his chest hurts when he tries to swallow. This pain that appears when he swallows food will have any relationship with an esophageal cancer? Watch the full video and you'll learn how to distinguish all the symptoms of esophageal cancer, so that if you or any of your relatives suffer from it, you can suspect it as soon as possible. Esophageal cancer is a tumor that is diagnosed late, because the person who has it usually consults very late. Let's see what these symptoms are, to be on guard against their appearance. Let's start with those who directly causes the esophageal cancer located only in the esophagus. Situation 1. Swallowing food is increasingly more difficult. The most common symptom of esophageal cancer that has not spread outside of it is the progressive difficulty swallowing foods. This symptom is called dysphagia. This difficulty swallowing appears gradually. At first, solid food is swallowed badly, dried bread, meat to cook. Progressively, other solids also cause choking, vegetables, fish, fatty meats. After a while, when the person with esophageal cancer has replaced his normal diet with mashed food, even these are swallowed with difficulty. If remedy is not put, even water will be swallowed difficultly, although this only happens with very advanced tumors. Situation 2. Pain appears when swallowing food. In addition to the mechanical obstacle to the passage of food, esophageal cancer can hurt when food wraps and shoves in its transit to the stomach. The early onset of the pain is typical of the ulcerated tumors, but in tumors that have no broken the esophageal mucosa will also eventually appear. Situation 3. The person starts to lose weight gradually and inexorably. When the esophageal cancer begins to obstruct the entry of food into the stomach, the person begins to eat less and less. That reduction in caloric intake can make him gradually lose weight. If personal and family situation of the patient allows the replacement of solid food for balanced purees or soups, this weight loss will slow down, but even eating enough, weight loss will eventually appear. This is called cachexia anorexia syndrome, a metabolic syndrome in which the body begins to lose muscle proteins, regardless of an adequate calorie intake. Even eating properly, person gets thinner and thinner. Situation 4. Cancer breaks the esophageal mucosa and starts bleeding. Because cancer can break the esophageal mucosa and thus a blood vessel, the person with esophageal cancer can start bleeding without noticing it. This is called upper gastrointestinal bleeding. When bleeding is minor, it causes no symptoms. But if bleeding is constant and of certain intensity, it can produce a microcytic anemia with a progressive fatigue that this anemia will entail. 
The person with a bleeding esophageal cancer may even begin to have black stools. We have seen the symptoms that cancer of the esophagus can cause. But what happens when the tumor escapes from the esophagus? Let's see it. When the tumor is already out of the esophagus, it may be because it has followed three different ways. The tumor infiltrates organs near the esophagus. The tumor escapes through the lymphatics or the tumor enters the blood. Let's see where each of these three ways leads. Situation 1. Esophageal cancer invades neighboring organs. When the tumor grows forward, as esophagus is not separated from other organs by any mechanical barrier, esophageal cancer can infiltrate neighboring organs, which will cause the appearance of symptoms in them. If the tumor compresses and infiltrates the bottom of the pharynx or trachea in its posterior side, it may cause difficulty for the passage of air to the lungs, resulting in the feeling of difficulty breathing, a symptom called dyspnea. The air passing through the duct narrowed by the tumor can produce a characteristic noise called respiratory stridor. Seldom, if the tumor grows backwards, it can reach and erode the bodies of the thoracic vertebrae. When this happens, a poorly defined back pain will appear. Less often is the situation in which the tumor pierces the wall of the thoracic great blood vessels, which could cause their breakage. This could be catastrophic because of the massive bleeding it would cause. Situation 2. The tumor has escaped through the lymph vessels. The cells of esophageal cancer, when choosing the lymphatic route to escape the body, tend to accumulate first on the nodes of the esophageal wall and those around the esophagus itself. Because of this accumulation of tumor cells, symptoms of difficulty swallowing and pain caused by the cancer itself are accentuated. Situation 3. The tumor has escaped through the blood. The esophageal cancer cells can enter the blood in two ways. The most common way is when cancer cells have reached the blood indirectly from the lymph vessels that go towards the thoracic duct. This duct empties its contents directly into the superior vena cava. The less frequent way is when inside the esophageal cancer itself, cells enter a blood vessel, breaking its wall. Once in the blood, these cells of esophageal cancer can travel to live anywhere in the body. Lungs, liver, bones, brain, causing different symptoms depending on its location. Metastasis into the bones. If the tumor cells grow inside bone, when metastases become very large, they can break the lining of bone, a membrane that has great sensitivity the periosteum. When this happens, pain occurs. This growth compromises bone strength and, especially if a bone has to bear weight, it may break. If the affected bone is a vertebrae, breaking it can cause neurological symptoms that fall into a spinal cord compression syndrome, which is an oncologic emergency. Metastasis in the lungs. When tumor cells get to live within the lungs, they usually build separate groups, appearing with time multiple metastases. If they cancel enough lung function, this can cause difficulty breathing, a symptom called dyspnea. If they touch a breathing tube, bronchus, or their branches, they will irritate them, producing a very troublesome dry cough. If metastases are placed near a blood vessel, this vessel may break pouring a little blood with cough. Metastasis in the brain. When groups of cancer cells get to live within the brain, they also make metastasis bigger and bigger. 
As they push neighboring neurons, these neurons begin to function in an altered way, so two types of symptoms may occur. Irritative symptoms in which neurons fire pushed and control flashes. The person can have seizures. Or deficit symptoms in which neurons stop working and their work is not done. The person can have loss of mobility, can experience the loss of vision for an eye or loses sensitivity. In both cases, if there is much tumor in the head, as there is not enough room for so many cells, because the skull is a closed cavity with a single large outlet, we can start having headaches that gradually build up in intensity and frequency. Metastasis in the liver when tumor cells are located in the liver and begin to grow, they can cross normal liver cells. When broken, the contents of these liver cells, which are transaminases, are put into the blood, thus increasing their levels as detected in a blood test. If cancer cells compress small channels within the liver, channels that carry bile, this bile may accumulate and the person gets a yellow tint on his skin, a phenomenon called jaundice. As you can see, esophageal cancer can cause the appearance of many signs and symptoms. Let's summarize them. Symptoms that esophageal cancer can cause are In the esophagus itself, most often dysphagia appears, which is the progressive difficulty swallowing food. At some point, this process will produce painful swallowing. When the person with esophageal cancer eats less and less amount of food, he begins to lose weight. That loss is accentuated even if the person eats enough calories. Anorexia cachexia syndrome appears. If the esophageal mucosa is broken, bleeding appears, which tints stool black. If bleeding is important, anemia will appear. In regions of lymphatic drainage, most often the difficulty swallowing and pain are accentuated when we eat food, solid initially, and then all kinds of food. In the rest of the body, if esophageal cancer infiltrates neighboring organs, it may occur. Shortness of breath, sun when breathing, or stridor, or dyspnea if it grows forward. Pain in the upper back if it grows backwards, affecting the dorsal vertebrae. If it spreads through the blood, the most common symptoms are Bone pain or fractures if bone is involved. Cough hemoptysis or dyspnea if metastases are located in the lungs, epileptic seizures or neurological deficits if the brain is affected, increased transaminases or jaundice if metastases are located in the liver. It is very important knowing the symptoms of esophageal cancer. Do not forget to carry out the early diagnostic tests of this tumor prescribed by your doctor. Early detection of esophageal cancer is the best way to beat it.